Ah, New York beef at its finest. Alfred Telefero, Miss Telefero TV. All right. So as of today, um, we've already seen a Cameron and Joe Budden's exchange. All right. So what does all this stem from? This is what happened. All right. Break this down to you as quickly as possible, and I'll skip over a couple of details. All right. Joe Budden was like, look, I would have fucked up Cameron if he would have copyrighted Bird Gang. Now, Bird Gang is a brand that Jim Jones, if I'm not mistaken, had presented to Cameron, and 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 this was Jim Jones what he what he was doing, and Cameron took it and copyrighted it, and and it, it was all in the stream, and Cameron stream over the weekend um, last Saturday. So Joe Budden didn't did an interview. Well, he was doing his podcast. Um, I'll name this podcast later, and he said, "Look, I would have fucked." up Cameron if he would have did that to me. He actually bigged up Cameron in an interview. He said, I know Cameron personally, all that. We, you know, we, we start, we, we have history. But it was like, look, if somebody would have did that to me, I would have fucked them up. This is what sparked the two to exchange a couple spars on social media. What a place social media has become. Um, this is what Cameron said to Joe, somebody wake Joey up because he ain't going to open my DM. Despite what people think, I got genuine love for Capo, Jim Jones. We know each other's families. It would never go there, not on my end. But you, you can't afford these problems. You think his ransom was at your dough. All right. Cameron later got back on his social media, addressed it again. He said, my apologies to Joe. Just spoke to him. I jumped the gun. My bad. Much love to you and the missus. I love how when these rappers go out on a limb and they they just like say, nigga, you ain't never been shit. You will always been this. You ain't never gonna be nothing. Nigga, you know, you if, you, if I pull up on you right now with 20 goons in your city, and then they and then if they go talk about it, my bad. It was never like that. He's a great guy. Like how Steve Harvey and Kanye West, Donald Trump's a great man. And now these rappers can be like, he's a great guy. I, I listened to the last album. I love the tape. It was never that. I love how we as we let rappers just get away with that all the time. He needs Cameron to be the realest people in the world. Um, one thing I took from that is Cameron said, look, me and Jim Jones know each other's family. So for Joe and everybody else out there, it would never go too physical. I like that aspect of it. I'm not sure who to believe in the Cameron Jim Jones fi- fiasco. I just wish these guys could work it out and we could get another dip set project. But it looks like we're past that point. Cameron doesn't look to be um, budging. Jim Jones looks open to work. But Cameron's like, no, no. No, and that, and that's where we at with it right now, all right? Um, so what do you guys think? It's cleared up now. Joe Budden, Cameron, there's no beef there. They talked on the phone. They're good to go. All right, after Teleferro, Miss Teleferro TV, thank you for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, Make sure you hit me up at bookingatismistelefero.com. Again, that's bookingatismistelefero.com.